Okay, so the mayor finally spoke, but she didn't address this. Listen. We'll be releasing uh, still photos of six individuals uh, that were uh, in and around Piedmont Park. And what we're hoping is that these individuals will come forward and to let us know, hopefully that they saw something uh, while in the park. Six people on a list. Uh, joining me, all-star panel, Eric Perry joining us, anchor, investigative reporter, WAGA. What about the six people on the list? Yeah, many people wanted to know who these people were. They released the uh, images of some of the people there. And then you asked the question, did it do any good? I actually don't know if it did any good for her benefit. Well, you're right, Eric Perry. And another thing that was not addressed is the surveillance cameras in that park. Listen. The evidence is going to dictate where our investigation goes. The cameras are just a tool that usually just helps us and aids us in investigations. But I have some talented men and women over in 226 Piedmont Peachtree Street that know how to solve crimes without anything other than just the evidence at hand. What? Man, is he trying to see why a right there? Hey, yeah, we can solve this evidence with nothing. He just said that. He just said that. And that is a very poor job of covering up the fact that they knew, the city knew those cameras did not work. The software was obsolete and had been obsolete for a long time. But that was just A-OK. -okay. While they support and pay for every boondoggle they felt like as fat cat politicians instead of taking care of the people in that park. What about that? And they're still in office. It's amazing. Nothing happened to these people. They all still have jobs. Uh, they've gone on to do other things in their career. Nothing happened. It's like, oh, yeah, a security camera was pointed right at the murder spot, but it wasn't working. Darn. What? Why didn't heads roll? Yeah, and that was a public outcry we saw in the days afterwards when they realized that the cameras weren't working. But many people, we'd see the cameras, so you would assume that they were working. You'll think that, oh, it's right there. You see, right there is exactly where all of this was. This is where the vigil was. This is where the memorial took place. So when people realized that this wasn't connected to what they call their integral system to where they can save the video, they can go back, review the video, and the video will connect directly to Atlanta 911 Center, that is where we saw the outcry. It took an additional nine months for that system that was promised when the murder happened to actually be in place. And it was delayed and delayed and delayed to nine months later to when it finally actually happened. So we found that period after the murder where it still wasn't connected to Atlanta police system. Question, Eric Perry, has it been fixed yet? It has, it has. So now they promise that those cameras are integrated. They have the ability to save it. But many people say it's a little bit did, too late because the worst has already been done. Did you actually say they promised? Did you say that, Eric? Because I think they you did. did. They did. Yeah, right. And that and $8 at Starbucks will buy you a cup of coffee. Okay, let's move forward with this investigation and try not to pay attention to what politicians are saying. So the girlfriend finds the body while she is out looking for Katie, and she finds it by using the Find My iPhone app. To Chris McDonough joining me, homicide detective, now founder of the Cold Case Foundation. I found him on his interview the interview room, his channel on YouTube. Chris, I got to hear your analysis now that you've heard everything we've discussed. You know, Nancy, there's a couple of things that uh, I think are important. Uh, one, we're coming up on three years here in July. Uh, and so I think the authorities need to be aware that those cameras had better be working because uh, there's a high probability the suspect may return to that particular area. Uh, the second thing is the phone pings that... Uh, uh, Emma uh, utilized that night. Uh, that was a really smart move, to be honest with you. 